it's very interesting to see Krzysztof Walikowski being invited you know, to read the message um, uh, on behalf of the entire international community um, because that means that Walikowski is now being uh, raised to the position of a master while for many years in Poland he was really a young rebel and provocator and uh, together with Krzysztof, uh, with uh, Grzegorz Jarzena they had taken over a uh, quite traditional theatre in Warsaw and like for quite a while in the late 90s they've been experimenting with forms and with topics really introducing to Polish theatre very new aesthetics and new scale of thinking. Uh, Polish theatre was really uh, blessed but also a bit burdened by the fact that uh, for many years you had to speak in innuendos so uh, everything was political but like in a very um, hidden way. Uh, Walikowski and Jarzyna for the first time tried to speak openly about many subjects using new aesthetics quite often taken from the movies like Tarantino uh, or like from other forms of uh, art. Um, uh, Jarzyna was very uh, cinematic while Walikowski's uh, imagination was more operatic. He always reached for uh, classical texts with uh, lots of darkness and uh, passion with them. So he would be staging quite often texts from the mythology or like Greek dramas, tragedies. Uh, Shakespeare would be one of his favorite um, writers. Um, there was always like a very moralistic uh, angle in Varkovsky's uh, work. Um, he would um, reflect on political subjects. So. Um, uh, for the first years, quite often he was talking about sexual identity, exclusion, um, the way uh, how very system oppresses. Uh, but like very quickly, he moves towards like looking for deeper reasons for those things to happen. So he would look for um, more personal guilt in a person um, who was the protagonist, or like he would look for uh, more um, archetypical maybe scale of. Uh, our decision-making process um, and that brought him in the end uh, the international recognition he would be quite often directing abroad uh, very often in in Paris he was invited um, to, to many the his theater was invited to make a production with festivals like Avignon uh, he would be directing opera in Germany and um, in uh, Switzerland um, so like with years he really his career moved from being this reality youngster, you know, for the first time in uh, bringing nudity on stage, for example, and a completely different aesthetic, like glamorous and, and sleek, uh, to somebody who is right now, you know, sharing his um, vision of theatre with everybody in Europe.